at the outset, I thank Almighty and my parents for this uh, wonderful day. Uh, first of all, I have to thank all the students here, because Father Arun was telling, you have been listening to speakers the whole day. It's rather very difficult. So let us all make it more interesting. Uh, thank you very much, Father. In fact, <clears throat> uh, Father Arun was telling uh, that I am his brother. Yes, he is my younger brother. But what I have, what I have been seeing with him, every year he comes out with a lot of new ideas, a very dynamic leader. I always see him as a multi-talented person. And any topic you give it to him, he's ready to speak and ready to give ideas. So rather I enjoy traveling with him because I gain a lot of knowledge, uh, the way he talks to me and the amount of experience he has got in various fields. It really helps me a lot. And more than that, not all of us will get the opportunity to participate uh, in college or schools, wherever you studied. It was a, a really a proud moment. I may be having business, wealth, everything I may have. But it was a rather a fantastic and proud moment in my life when he called me and gave me the opportunity to be part of this Liba building and that too, uh, to, 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 name my, to give my name to this auditorium. I am ever thankful to Jesuit fathers and Jesuit institutions for what they had done to me. And what they had done to me, it is nothing. I always feel, I always feel very humble in front of what, whatever they had done to me. And today, I should tell you that the chief guest or the chief uh, speaker, Mr. Dinagar, is a very nice friend. More than that, a highly experienced person, both in the field of manufacturing logistics and also the field of the logistic players. He has got experience of both sides. That is why when we really thought of a good speaker who could spare their, uh, share their experience to you all, then I felt that Dinagar Maladi is the right person to be here for this Xavier Brito Logistics Endowment Lecture. I am thankful to Dean, Assistant Dean, Financial Controller, Mr. Mayor Professor Chandran, the management and the students for having organized this endowment lecture. Because today, as Father Arun said, logistics is a very, very important faculty, very important area, very important field, and very important for the economic development of this country. And when I was sitting, actually, and they said, uh, I was also an old student of Liba. Yes, I must say for, say, say for a few minutes, the Liba was responsible today what I am, in the sense that if I had not come to Liba, probably I would not have become a businessman, probably working somewhere, or I would have been a government employee somewhere. The turning point came into my life. It is because of that Liba Evening College. Credit goes to Mr. Baskaran. He was my professor. He's also here. <laughs> Not all the people think about the past. I always say, uh, you know, when you have a, a gratitude, 
it will determine your attitude. You should always remember and appreciate people helped you in your life. And basically, when he gave me the opportunity into shipping, that's how I started liking this field and started this company. And what I am today, it is because of that. And, uh, you know, I was just thinking, you know, like when I, when I was looking at my name and all that, coming from a small village, all along studying in Jesuit institutions and uh, studying in Loyola and Liba, I never thought that I could contribute to Liba one day and also to be part of this endowment lecture. And I always thank God, it's all blessings of my parents. Coming to our logistics, why we talk so much, as Father said, why we talk so much about logistics today? Logistics is something, the lifeline of trade, commerce, and industry. Because without logistics today, without the excellence of logistics today, we cannot think that our country is moving from fifth place to the third place among all the developed countries. Today, our Prime Minister has talked that our country has moved to the fifth place. The world economy, achieving in 2027, almost about $5 trillion, which means why they could achieve this DG, uh, GDP at that level, it is because of the excellence of logistics in the last five years. Now, I must say that in, of course, in another about few years, maybe 20, they say 2027 or 2028, now we are in the fifth place. We are now moving to the third place. Also in 2030, we will be achieving six trillion. And if you take the logistic industry, the size of the industry in 2019 was only $190 billion. But in 2023, it has become $435 billion. And in five years' time, this industry will move towards $650 billion. That will be the size of this industry. Now, how this industry is growing, as you all know, it is because of technology innovativeness and data-based decision-making and policy initiatives in order to make the world-class infrastructure. This is, the, this is the reason why we are able to grow fast. Also, it is important that how the country could achieve more GDP, how the logistics is playing an important role, it is because you know, today, because of the manufacturing and Make in India concept, also India is becoming an export economy. They say in 2028, we will reach 1 trillion exports. An element of 10% saving in logistics cost as a whole can always increase 5 to 8% of our exports in this country. So, so much is there in logistics. That is the reason why the government has started concentrating in the last five years about this industry. Because as you know, logistics cost is one of the highest in India in, compared to the world economies. It is almost 14%. Whereas the international average is less than 10%. If you need to achieve less than 10%, Lot of initiatives are required. That is why you would have seen recently government 2021, 2022, and in 2023, they have come out with a lot of programs like Gathi Sakti program, logistics policy of 2022, and then ULIP, United Logistics Interface Program, and so on. Basically, what is this Gathi Sakti? It's a fantastic program because before 
We used to deal with the different ministries, different aspects. The best thing the government has done, 16 ministries who are dealing with infrastructure, they have brought it under a single platform. I would call it as a centralized portal. The number two thing, why they brought in logistics policy? Basically, as I have told you, the logistic cost is one of the highest in, in India compared to the world economies. That means they need to bring down the logistics from 14% to 10%. So that is why they have brought in the logistics policy. More than that, as a key component of these two, they created this ULIP. When they have, when they have created this ULIP, the main focus is basically ease of doing. When I say ease of doing, it is more governance and less government. This is called ease of doing. So they have brought in ULIP with the interface to make sure that ease of doing is there in our business. That is why, as per the World Bank Logistics Performance Index, we have gone from 44th place among 139 countries to 38th place. And very soon, we will start moving in because of our lot of initiatives in this area. And now, I have told you how logistics is important and the supply chain is important. And you should know, many of you will have the doubts. When I say logistics, what is this logistics? Nothing, because it com comprises or or. It, 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 has a, it is a very comprehensive concept, wherein you involve road transport, air transport, and you involve sea transport, and you involve uh, rail transport, and also supply chain. So rail, road, air, water, and supply chain. And all have been included. See, those days, when I started the company, it was only a glorified warehousing or clearing and forwarding or transportation. Today it has gone to that extent they have included entire ambit of uh, areas of logistics, uh, areas of uh, business into this logistics. That is why now the government is talking about multi-model connectivity. That is a fantastic com uh, uh, concept that is combined mode of transport. Previously we were looking at Railway transport separately, air transport separately. Today, what I am seeing is that there is a combined mode of transport that is multi-model connectivity. And that is, is the main reason why we are talking about the cost is going to coming down. And government is taking a lot of efforts. This is where the ambit of logistics field has gone up and the requirement for skilled people is all the more very important. As you all know, in 2022, this industry was employing only 31 million. Whereas in another five years time, there will be 1 million jobs added in this industry. Of course, it is not yet getting very professional. Still, we are a bit of unorganized, fragmented. But I am sure, I am confident, what I had seen in the past, because I have seen the most conventional period, medieval period, and now I am seeing the digital period. I am very confident that this industry is going to be employing more and more people in five years' time. That is the reason why we still have the skill, skilled people gap, in the sense that we are not able to get the right professionals for the, for the areas which are required, because it is more and more getting into technology, it is more and more getting into technical, it is more and more getting into other areas of, uh, uh, you know, developments. So naturally, we need skilled people. I'm very happy that to have a collaboration with LIBA for logistics. Of course, we are all in the initial stages. We are trying to create our own syllabus, a structured syllabus, and so on. It's a very tough job, challenging job. But with all our experience, I'm sure in India, we will definitely create a kind of a structured education that will take care of the entire development prospects of this industry. This industry has got a huge potential. That is the reason why 
I thought this endowment lecture should come in every year. There should be an awareness of this industry. And so much is coming, uh, talking, uh, so much is being talked about this logistics field. And so much is coming up, even Prime Minister, every other minister, every day they are talking, even in Tamil Nadu, they are talking about infrastructure development, this development, that development. It's all pertaining to only logistics. So you will see, because now waterway development is happening, all the rivers are getting connected, and it is a very good move. Like that, everything is getting completely changed. So with this, I think Milady is an expert. He will also give his experience in this field. One thing I want to tell you very clearly, that everything, why I have grown is that, it is because, or we are growing, is it is because everyone is my teacher. And everything is my lesson. This is how I have taken. And I only want students keep learning because the learning is one will help you to grow. And every step you, you take in your life, it is going to make you more and more stronger and more and more self-confident and more and more successful, which means whatever it is, you have to keep learning and understanding what is happening around you. And that is why I read recently in one of the countries, instead of you know, uh, you know, borrowing the book from the library, probably uh, I think uh, uh, Dr. Arun must be doing now, instead of reading books, borrowing books from the library, they borrow people and they come, spend about half an hour in the library, library to teach their lifetime story. So our libraries have to become more physical and by borrowing people who have got the lifetime story to talk to the students, which will definitely give them a lot of motivation. That is why it is said, you, you learn, unlearn, and relearn in your life. When you do that, you will see remarkable change in yourselves. And thank you very much.